At Freedom Service Dogs of America, we offer transformation. We help individuals with mobility impairments. Some are born with these challenges, while many others have suffered from sudden accidents, illnesses, or military service that leave them with life-changing disabilities. Five years ago, my pelvis failed. All three joints split apart spontaneously over about 10 days. And then I found out about Freedom Service Dogs. And I thought, well, maybe they could help me. Maybe, maybe that would be a good fit. And so I called and I talked to the, um, the director at that time, and she was lovely. And she said, well, let's interview you. Let's, let's have you come in and let's talk about what you can and can't do and what we might be able to do for you. She started asking me questions about what would I like the dog to do for me. And mostly, I just wanted to go outside. You know, sorry. The phone rang and the caller ID said Freedom Service Dogs. And I thought, oh, well, maybe they're updating something or maybe they have a question for me. And it was Kathy, the trainer, Lovey's trainer, and said, hi, we have a dog for you. And my heart stopped. What? Really? What? It's my turn? <laughs> How's this going to happen and when? And it was just this... Um, my heart's pounding because I'm remembering how much my heart was pounding that day and oh my gosh, this is really going to happen and then oh my gosh, this is really going to happen. Am I ready for this? Freedom Service Dogs transforms the lives of veterans who are returning home with physical disabilities, post-traumatic stress disorder, and brain injuries. I was in the Coast Guard for about two years, um, wound up getting hurt. I have a lower back injury um, and I have a lot of mental issues. Because I've been out of the mental hospital for a while, I have gotten pretty close. I, well, there was one night in particular that I was feeling particularly suicidal. I had called the hotline, whatever, and I was just out. I had parked my car. I was just breaking down. I was going from rage to tears to depression to I, all over different ends of the spectrum. And she climbed out of her bed in the back seat and climbed in my lap and curled up in like the little football. And it just, it changed my perspective, like almost within like five minutes, as far as with the suicidal stuff. I mean, I was still had a lot of stuff that I was trying to process, but she almost instantly took away the suicidal ideation. Freedom Service Dogs is unique because unlike most service dog organizations, we don't breed our dogs. We take dogs from shelters and rescues and give them another chance at life by transforming them into service dogs. Yes. Good girl. There's a number of uh, visions for Freedom Service Dog. I mean, the most compelling one is to be able to help people that can't otherwise help themselves. What these dogs are able to accomplish is yes. amazing at times. The dog can be trained to pick up a credit card. I've seen them pick up a dime off of a linoleum floor. Uh, our veteran clients come back from with, with a lot of times physical wounds that in previous conflicts um, they would not have survived. With advances in battlefield medicine, uh, they are surviving and coming here, and these are, these are young kids. They're in their 20s, uh, and they want to live their life, and uh, the dogs help them do that in a way that, that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Brace. Having a Freedom Service dog like Lovey was life-changing for Kimberly. There are scores more, just like Kimberly, who are looking for the freedom their own lovey can provide. Waiting list, to me, is the real shame here. Uh, the people that we can serve and take care of, I believe, is, is, a, is a miracle. But what's really a shame is the waiting list. Ready? Can you talk? What we have done over the last couple of years is put a plan together and raise the capital to be able to expand that to uh, be able to train more dogs so we can, we can help more people. Since 2010, over 300 donors provided $2.4 million to help us expand into a new facility. Here's our new home. But this is just the beginning. Our stunning new building still needs $2 million to transform the building into the exact facility we need to help hundreds of people and dogs just like Josh and Posey. She's my best friend. I mean, her and my wife are my two best friends. <laughs> this is our chance to put Freedom Service Dogs in an optimal position to transform more lives, to give people the gift of a service dog. It makes a beautiful partnership because the people don't have to ask other people for help in doing these things. It's something they accomplish 
with their canine helper. Josh and Kimberly represent just two of hundreds of clients whose lives have been transformed by Freedom Service Dogs. It's only with the help of people like you, right here, right now, working together to change lives forever. The short answer about Freedom Service Dogs is it's a, it's a virtuous circle. We rescue dogs, we get them healthy, we train them, and, and we change and, and in some cases save people's lives. And it's, it's really that simple. And to all of our current and future supporters, I'd just like to say thank you so much. The impact of what you do uh, in terms of your donations and where that goes and how we can utilize those funds is so far reaching and really is having a significant impact on the community. This isn't just a building, it's a second chance. A second chance for a shelter dog. A second chance at freedom. A second chance at a fulfilling life. It's our chance to make a real difference in the world. Please give the gift of freedom to the next generation of deserving people.